morning. This is Anne from Happy Mom Home Cooking. It's too early in the day, so I'm gonna put together a marinade for the chicken that I'm gonna cook later for dinner. And also, um, I've saved some plain chicken for the kids because they will not eat the, the curry that I'll use. Just a sprinkle of salt in it and I'll let it sit in the fridge. For the curry chicken, um, I have about 1.1 pound of chicken thigh or um, 500 grams. For the marinade, I will need two tablespoons of curry paste. This one I got from Walmart. I usually uh, get the curry paste from um, an, in, an Asian grocery store, but it's kind of far away and I've been busy, so um, I have tried this one and it turned out to be really good. It's, it has a lower salt content, so if you wish, you can add a little bit more salt, but I find it to be um, quite flavorful. You will also need two tablespoons of water to thin out the paste. And this is um, Thai red curry paste. You will need a quarter cup of coconut milk or coconut cream. They have different labels, but I find them to be quite similar in taste. Also, one tablespoon of maple syrup. As always, feel free to adjust the ingredients to your taste. You can definitely do this uh, before going to bed the night before and have it set overnight in the fridge. But if you don't have time, um, you can marinate it for one hour, four hours, or um, as long as you have. And just as a safety note, I have a, a jar of um, boiling water and I've had a couple drops of soap in here. I'll let this sit just to kill any germs that um, there are on on the utensil before it goes in the dishwasher. This is another tail lip just to make sure the fish doesn't smell. It's dinner time and I'm back to grill the chicken as well as making a vermicelli noodle bowl to go with it. But first thing first, we're gonna roast half a cup of raw peanuts. For 10 minutes at 340 degrees. Here's the chicken that I marinated this morning. Here I also have um, 200 gram of dry vermicelli noodle. They call they could be called rice steaks or rice noodles, but uh, look for the one that is completely round. Some of the flat ones that also is labeled as rice noodle, but they're meant for a uh, noodle soup dish. To go with the noodle, uh, I have half an English cucumber one small romaine lettuce and um, a bunch of cilantro just the leafy parts on the top i will need about eight cups of water in a large pot uh, i'm gonna put the noodle in the pot when the water is still cold we'll bring it to a boil and then um, we'll start we'll go from there let's put together a, a quick sauce for this noodle dish just so i don't knock over the bottles and make a mess. I will need a third a cup of coconut water, two tablespoons of fish sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, I'll give it a quick mix. Let's save a little bit for the kids. Don't forget I'll put on a lid. And then I'll add about two teaspoons of chili garlic sauce in here.
The noodles are boiling. I'll set a timer for 10 minutes. Add a bit of oil in here. We'll add the chicken in cold, just so it has time to warm up and uh, get golden brown. Just set it to medium high. Peanuts are done. Um, I'm gonna turn on uh, the broiler on, on high, and I've had the oven rack adjusted to the very top to broil the chicken thighs. The heat elements are nice and hot. I'll cook the chicken for five minutes on the first side. I will add another piece of aluminum foil to the tray that I use for washing the peanuts. And I'll use it to uh, cook the second side of the chicken. The first side of the chicken is nice and brown. I'll put it over and cook the second side. The noodle, the noodle is secondly done now. It's really soft. It's almost like overcooked pasta. I'm rinsing the noodles under cold water to stop it from cooking and shake out excess water. I'll cook the other side for five minutes. It's 180 degrees, so that's safe. I'm gonna take it off the stove. You can definitely buy the pre-roasted peanuts, but I find the the raw one that get toasted and used right away also gives the best flavors. Okay, the chicken is done. That looks nice and golden brown. I'll let it rest for a bit, but I'll check the temperature and see. It's about 180 degrees on the in the thickest part of the thigh, so that's good. mix everything up and eat it like a noodle salad. There you have it, red curry chicken thighs with vermicelli noodle bowls. I had a great time cooking with you today and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.